I love Rimuru, and in each and every opportunity I have to use him, I will! So now there's another unknown team, and by god, it's an unknown team that heavily boosts and has a good DPS to complement Rimuru's debuff card. Hoping for the best. Actually, I should have given Rimuru the uh, Merlin link from her crit chance, because how much crit chance does Rimuru have? He has 100... 107. I was looking here, 107. Yeah, with Merlin, it's like almost... It's like, it's like pretty achievable to have like a, a crits all the time, right? Because we're low, yeah, we're lowering the crit resistance, right? And he has decent crit chance, but as you saw, the, the crits didn't do much more damage than the non-crits, so... There's definitely that. Ha! Huh? Did Bond not even take damage? <laughs> what the hell? Did Bond not even take damage? I swear he already had that much health. What happened? Okay. We're still okay because we just have so much stats, but... What happened? I'm confused. Doesn't matter, because we sealed their healing, like Lost Vein would be scary right now. Because he, he popped three level three cards because of my miscalculation of damage here, but doesn't matter because Rimuru sealed their healing, so all we have to do is just make sure to kill him now. Oh, I actually hope this goes for Bon. No. Still fine. Man, losing tier is a big damage drop for Freyr. That extra single target damage is pretty crazy. It's a pretty crazy drop. Now we, we don't have tier's single target damage increase anymore, so Rimuru's single target is not going to be looking as good, but I still want to pop him. Give it a try. Let's do it on... Uh, doesn't matter. We're being lowered a lot as well. Uh, yeah, we're being lowered a lot, but you know. Still our stats being pumped into him by both Nanashi and Freyr. Alright. We'll, <laughs> we'll try to have a better understanding of where my damage stands next match. Because I, I need to remember that the Rimuru AoE doesn't really hit all that hard, right? But the seal is cool, but it doesn't really hit all that hard. You know, I kind of have to... <laughs> no. Let's relax, let's relax. Let's do a seal. Then we can attack the other ones, and then you once. I think that's pretty good. We're gonna rank up melee, which is not ideal, but because we sealed the end, we can do some damage here, and she won't heal. Then do some damage to Bon, he won't heal. Then next turn we can do the serious damage. Hmm. Although probably would have been better off going with the AoEs and stuff like that. The problem I have is that, you know, my units, mainly tier, hit so hard. Do I really need to see <laughs> Just seal their healing. Is it really necessary? Let's go. Uh, this will definitely kill the end. Uh, ah, let's just make sure. I would go with Rebirth first. If he had the AoE. To ensure. We did. <laughs> this AoE is just too strong. It's just too strong. Oh, I was actually thinking of using what this guy is using, but. A little bit exaggerated on that green right there. Especially because I, I do want to make Rimuru look very good. And... Getting the increase from... Let's do this. Getting the increase from Freyr is just much better. Mm, 72k. That's not bad. That's not bad. You know, if you compare it to Freer directly, you know, both have done a single target DPS, right? Like that 
those cars are directly comparable, even if they do different things, like the, the Cleave versus the Pierce card. Fury just hit harder, right? And that, that, that hitting harder makes me already say, ah, do I want <laughs> to use Rimuru? When someone that is supporting my team is doing it, I don't know. I think that Rimuru would do, like, really good if I was facing some Nanashis. Because, like, right here, I stole, like, the buff from Lost Bane, right? I need to steal some buffs, is the issue. I'll do this right here. I need to steal some buffs so that Rimuru can get his Pierce, right? So I need to face some Nanashis. So starting the next match, I'm gonna try to, uh... Hold on to Rimuru cards for after he gets his Pierce buff. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, people are using Nanashi a lot. Not this match, clearly. Uh -huh. Let's go with this right here. Kill the bond. Kill the bond. And then Rimuru will make sure that we can kill the end very easily. If not, we can stance remove, maybe? Nope, okay. That's fine. I didn't want to anyways. We can just debuff with Rimuru so that she doesn't heal anymore. Attack, attack. Or, and I'm just saying or, what I could do is attack with Rimuru, then AoE, AoE. I mean... Or I could do that. And it's seeming like that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's just more fun. And honestly better. It is the the correct outcome here. Oh, I, I did level 2 after because I was like, oh, level 1 might not kill. And then we get to see both instead of just seeing one. But level 1 still killed because of course it did. Of course. Well, I'll, I'll steal one buff. Here in the beginning, at least. Nice. Um, you know? I know it will kill, so then I have to seal the Tarmia link. And I'm hopeful. Hopeful. Next turn, I got a stance removal. Nope. But I got something even better, another AoE for tier, which makes sure that the stance is invalid. Stance, damage reduction, what are you talking about? And you did damage to tier? Oh my god. You're practically begging to get wiped. He has, ma he has max, like, 50% attack from his passive now. Practically begging. Ooh. Okay. Steal that buff. Steal that buff, Rimuru. Cool. Let's kill the Melascula. Yeah, the buff stealing is nice. Definitely nice, especially against other tiers. Because you just ensure that you remove the, the taunt right away. Okay, we got... <laughs> We got the taunt removed just to get another taunt. Okay. That's cool. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, now he's not... It's like... I love the tier plus Melascula team. It's really strong. But... <laughs> there's definitely situations where using that team isn't the best. Like now. How many stacks do you have again? You have four. Let's wait one more turn. So let's just... Uh, let's kill the Twigo. And we'll hang on. We'll hang on. Right? We'll kill the Twigo. I at least want to get the, the goddamn Pierce buff. I'm definitely going to have better situations. But like, come on. It's taking like a long time to get it. Like right now even... It's not very good because Scotty is like lowering my attack. 
But still. I could kill Scotty first, actually. How high are Rimuru's basic stats? Because he buffs his own basic stats as well. 19.6. That's... That's alright. I mean, he's being lowered. Yeah, we're being lowered by Scotty. So let's... Let's do this. And I think it will kill Scotty. I think. Because she doesn't have that much. Yeah. Then Rimuru. Gone. Type disadvantage. Gone. Yes! He did something, finally! This is insane. Why now do I not face Nanashis? <laughs> it's the most common back unit in the game! Most common by far! All I beg is, to, is for some buffs to steal. That's all I want! I just want to steal some buffs, so I can get the freaking passive. Tough, but it's it's like Nanashi is really the only meta character right now that's providing so many buffs that it's actually remotely, you know, a consideration for Rimuru. It's fine, I'll, ha I'll have another time. To make him shine for now. Let's do this. See some damage here from him. Not bad. But you know. Looked a lot better with the Pierce buff for sure. Skipping to now finally getting the Pierce buff. I I <laughs> I was like, I, I'm gonna skip this match until I get the, the Pierce buff. How much damage was doing? Yes! Damage numbers! Oh my god! Unbelievable. Un freaking believable. One more. One more. We're heavily lowered by Bond, but it doesn't stop us. It does not stop us from seeing this level 2 from Rimuru. George, okay, come on! Close enough! This is what I'm talking about, baby. Glassless shield! Okay. It's our opportunity. <laughs> it's, it's our opportunity to get Rimuru his buff and then see some damage. Because we can even use Liz as our damage, damage uh, stick right here. She's blue. Doesn't have the best of stats, you know? An old character. If my math isn't wrong, which could be, this is enough for the Pierce buff. Isn't it? Yep. Still lowered by Bond. Ah, annoying. So we got. 281, but 21,000 attacking on Geared. Pretty good. Let's do this. I'm gonna kill Bond first. If this can kill. No, 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 no. Kill Bond first and then attack. So we, we lose the the attack lowers. I think this will kill. <laughs> okay. Not even close, okay. Not even close, because he probably has Zelders as well, right? So we're being heavily lowered, yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Pretty big lower from Bon. Damn it. Damn it, couldn't see the max potential of Rimuru here, but it's fine. Nice tanking. You know, we have insanely high stats and we have Nanashi, so... Tanking is uh, a given, right? We're gonna be tanking, no problem. I didn't attack with Tyr, by the way, because he, he's being 100% Christian's Lord, so I was like, ah... Yeah, 400,000 HP in ungear is crazy. Crazy. This should kill. Crit once. Not a single time. Yeah, Zaldra's lowering is... Uh, Zaldra's plus bot. Right, Zaldra's... 
on top of Bon is a pretty crazy. This is why Zhao just even make it, made like such a big comeback as he has, right? And it's why Scotty is thriving, you know, all these debuffs, all these attack lower debuffs just make her so good. Either way. Let's play one more free Maru. So in conclusion, right? I think if, if you were facing, right, a ton, and I mean a lot, a lot of Nanashis, it would be 100% worth running Rimuru. The, the attack that you can do post Pierce buff is pretty insane because you have such high stats. You're buffing single target damage by a lot in this team. 15% with, uh, with Freer and 10 with uh, with tier on top of the super high stats, right? On top of the super high stats is a pretty big number. It's pretty good if you are facing, <laughs> if you are facing matches. But as you can see, bonds are majority of matches, and this is again why Scotty is so good right now because bond is so prevalent. And while bond is so prevalent, I think Rimuru is not. Going should be in a position. Should be really all that good. But with that being said, he didn't do so bad. For sure. He didn't do so For such an old character, especially, because I remember the slime collab like it's yesterday, honestly. The slime collab was so good. So good. But Rimuru is very old. Wasn't he released in April? It was April, right? I'm taking a look back here. Um, might be misremembering the month. Rimuru still doesn't have the, he still doesn't have the Pierce buff. You know what I mean? He still doesn't have the Pierce buff. Like how am I supposed to win <laughs> when he still doesn't have the Pierce buff? And the match is practically done, right? Yeah, April of 2022, that's like over a year ago, right? Over a year ago, this guy came out. And I'll be honest, the power creep that we've been getting since, I want to say, Ascanor, right? No, ever since Zel Estorosa, the power creep we've been getting ever since Estorosa has been insane. He still doesn't have the Pierce buff. <laughs> if you don't face an Anashi, tough. Real tough. But if you do, honestly, not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> 